Uh, hey everybody. Um, yeah, I keep hearing on the news, seeing on Facebook, reading comments, like posts that the guy who directed the Batman Superman movie, like, they don't like him, that they thought the movie sucked. Actually, I saw the movie on last Saturday, and let me tell you, it was freaking awesome. It was good. I loved it, especially in IMAX theaters. Yeah, you should go see it in IMAX, the, like, IMAX theaters. Because when that boom hits you, I mean, it hits you. It's really... It's really good. You know, Ben Affleck as Batman. You know, I figured they would have gone with Christian Bale, who played the last Batman, but, you know... So, they got him playing the new Batman. Um, I'm guessing that this bat, this Batman, because of, of everything from where the new Batcave is to Wayne Manor, like, I'm thinking everything takes after the, the Dark Knight movies, I'm guessing. Um... So, wait, if you th don't listen to other people when they say, uh, that, uh, that Bat Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice sucks, that's not good. Well, they're totally wrong, or they're just hating really bad, because it's a good movie, and I can't wait to see the next movie. You know? Like, yeah. I'm not going to give everything away, but, you know, Cyborg, Flash, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman making, well, Wonder Woman making her movie debut, um, and then little cameos from Flash, Cyborg, and, and Aquaman, like, that's cool, and, You'll be surprised who they got as Flash when you see when you see this movie. And you know Yeah. The Batman vs. Superman movie is very good and I would recommend you to to watch it. And to look forward to the first Justice League movie. It will be pretty good. Now, if Zack Snyder, Schneider, or how you pronounce his last name, um, keep him on, because it's a really good movie, and, and, I've enjoyed it, and my sister enjoyed it, and everybody else who was in the theaters that saw it, they'd enjoyed it. They're like, whoa, especially the two guys behind us at the theaters who ugh, wouldn't shut up. And yeah, everybody enjoyed, everybody stayed to the very end. And they thought there might be some scenes at, after the after credits, but <laughs> what can you do? Everybody loves them after credits scenes because you see them in the Marvel movies. So, you know, maybe this one would have had one. <laughs> yeah, it's more humor. But come on. Leave the leave Zack Schneider alone. Just let him direct Justice League. I want to see what he does with it. I want to see 
how he does in Justice League, who they're gonna get to get to play everyone else. Like, okay. Initially Cyborg was a Teen Titan going back and forth, comics, TV, cartoons, you know. And I'm looking forward to seeing all this. Like are they gonna bring back Ryan Reynolds as as Hal Jordan, or are they gonna get John Jones, who they got playing Martian Manhunter? You know, who like, yeah. <laughs> but you know, Dawn of Justice, sort of like, it's a good movie. You will be excited. To see it, and you'll be looking forward to the Justice League movie that will come out within the next year or two. I'm looking forward to all the Marvel and DC movies that are coming out this year, like the the new X Men movie, Apocalypse. I want to see that one. It looks cool. It looks good. Um, here's, here's a picture that I took when I was at the theaters. It looks really good. Like, hey, how can you not like it? Like, come on. As you can see, Beast, uh, Magneto, Storm, and Archangel are in it. Yeah, as you can see, I cut off Apocalypse's head. <laughs> I know, kind of crazy. And James Ackerboy, bald. Hmm. So... Oh, look at that. X-Men Apocalypse will be out in theaters May 27. That's something to look forward to. Well, okay. Um, well, that's all I wanted to say. Like, the Batman Superman movie. It's very good. Watch it. You know? Talk about it amongst your friends. Girlfriends or girls talking about it with your boyfriends. It's a good movie. A lot of action. Some funny scenes. You know. Don't be surprised if. If you saw the movie Man of Steel. You see in the beginning like. Like the beginning of the movie takes place during the events of. Man of Steel and this is. Con and this is. And. The Batman vs. Superman is a continuation of what happened after Man of Steel. After Superman defeated General Zod and everything that happens after. So, I would recommend... If you saw Man of Steel, then go see the Batman Superman movie. Because that way you can... And you're like, oh, okay, so this is what happened, blah, 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 and, and yeah. Affleck has white stripes in his hair. White stripes in his hair. Like, I saw that, I couldn't stop staring at it almost throughout the entire movie. It was, like, dude got, dude got white stripes in his hair, like, white, white, right here, white. Like one, two, three, one, two, three, like here. Like, ugh. like, seriously. They're making Bruce Wayne so old. Now I don't think that guy that played Alfred was the same one in Dark Knight or in the other Batman movies that had Christian Bell playing Bruce Wayne. But, yeah, you know, whatever. I pretty much don't care. 
Because I loved the movie. I enjoyed that movie. It was good. And the fact that... This is Wonder Woman's first movie appearance. Yeah, Wonder Woman has been 